hello my beautiful darlings welcome back to my channel i hope you're having an amazing day and thank you for watching today we're going to talk about how to recognize quality clothes and always look polished and on my channel we talk a lot about leveling up looking glamorous becoming the best version of yourself and transforming yourself into a very elegant feminine lady so of course i love talking about fashion you know i'm a fashion stylist and of course it's important to have quality clothes but how to recognize them how to recognize quality clothes so if you want to know more keep on watching but first just wanted to let you know that if you want to see more of my content i talk about fashion femininity elegance and old hollywood glamour also some seduction tips feel free to join the channel the link is down below also follow me on my instagram which is at lisa hardstyle i first just wanted to thank the sponsor of this video which is lily silk and they kindly send me some beautiful beautiful high quality clothes and i think you know i've already mentioned lily silk and i've already put some links on my videos it's not new they are mainly specialized in silk and and they do also some cashmere clothes but this is what I'm wearing right now I'm wearing this silk dress a hundred percent silk and I think that everybody needs a silk dress or a silk blouse in their closet as a classy elegant closet and I'm telling you this is the most luxurious material that exists this is really rare to find silk I have to admit because every time even if you go in sacks for example I have beautiful dresses from sacks they are expensive they can be 400 euro or 400 dollar but they are not made of silk <laughs> so okay uh, you're like really <laughs> so first of all we have to talk about the fabrics and the fabrics are very very important in terms of clothes and to see if it's high quality if it's gonna look polished if it's gonna look expensive so you really have different type of fabrics you have the natural fabrics and you have the synthetic fabrics natural fabrics are made from something natural from from nature which is plant or animals where synthetic is made by just human beings natural fabric gives you instantly a more elegant and luxurious look they are way more comfortable against the skin so you have different type of material different type of natural material that can give you an instantly expensive look you have silk wool cashmere leather suede you have linen cotton and velvet and you have so much more as well but these are like the main ones it is already going to indicate that it's a higher quality it's also normally synonym of a higher price it depends on the fabric but you have already an indication of the fact that this fabric is gonna last longer so really pay attention to the little etiquette uh, that indicate how much percent it has and all of that for example this dress is a hundred percent silk for example silk helps you stay warm in the winter and it helps you stay cool in the summer it's this kind of fabric that is just adapting to you to your body temperature so silk is well known for being decadent and exquisite with it. Silk is the epitome of luxurious fabric. Silk is breathable, lightweighted, and undeniably beautiful in appearance. If you see this dress, it's like a little bit shiny, very elegant look without even trying. It's just a simple dress. It's very simple. I put on a belt to just emphasize my waist because it looks better i recommend by the way adding some accessories and whatever you want i added also some earrings adds to the looking expensive look but silk gives you immediately this effect without even trying so i have to admit silk is more expensive it's in the more expensive side but it's an investment silk is also very delicate it is very durable even if it's very thin you know it's very thin it is very precious and you have to pay attention to it mulberry silk is the most expensive and the most luxurious silk that exists they actually sent me this beautiful cashmere sweater is so soft when you touch it it is so refined so soft and it's so warm when you put it on and I'm always saying look at all of my videos I'm always saying this is something that you need to have a beautiful silk dress and a cashmere sweater it's essential in your wardrobe it's gonna last you forever forever you're gonna have it in your wardrobe and it's never going to be out of fashion because it's classic 
elegant and timeless. So cashmere is a type of wool known for being very soft and very high quality. And cashmere is also just like silk, synonym of luxury. So you will look always expensive with cashmere. And it's also something that can keep you so warm in the winter if you are like me. I'm always cold. I really recommend investing in like cashmere cardigan, cashmere sweater, something that can keep you really warm in the winter. It's something that even if you have a thin layer of cashmere, it keeps you as warm as if you have a thicker layer of a bigger sweater but made of polyester. Uh, on top of it, cashmere is long lasting and it's incredibly smooth in the touch. Then you also have satin. Of course satin is less expensive than silk and it is less durable. It is kind of the cheaper version of silk and it looks good as well but it's not a natural fabric. It's not actually a fabric and unlike silk it is a raw material. Satin is actually a type of weave. It can be made of silk, but it can also be made of polyester. It can be made of a mix. So it often have a mix of multiple fabrics, just like nylon, polyester. So you have a glossy side in the front and you have a dual side in the back. So for satin to spot on high quality, it really depends on the thickness and how it's made. And you have to look at the fabric. You have to look at each garment individually. So in terms of the winter, I really recommend things like wool. We all know that a coat made of wool is fantastic looking. I do have one fantastic wool coat from Jacques Vera that is absolutely marvelous and it is made of wool and cashmere so it's very warm and at the same time you don't need to have such a big coat when it's made of wool when it's made of cashmere you can have something thinner so it can look more polished more feminine because we want to look feminine on this channel so of course we want things that are more tight the when things to emphasize our feminine figure so anytime you have a natural fabric it is going to keep you warmer than something that is polyester that would require to have a bigger size so wool is the best for coats i recommend having wool coats all of my coats are made of wool actually then you have leather or suede which are amazing in terms of shoes in terms of bags and i really recommend investing in leather shoes leather bags it's going to last you longer for the winter you also have velvet which you know i absolutely adore i adore having a velvet robe so chic having any type of velvet dresses it is making me think of the 50s and you know how much i love 50s fashion you know how much i love the 40s 50s they were so elegant back then and they would wear a lot of those type of material a lot of natural material because polyester was not as common back in the days so they would wear a lot of silk a lot of silk robe a lot of cashmere to be warm in the winter they would wear wool coats and they would wear a lot of velvet as well and then in the summer you can have linen and cotton I really recommend those two they're not as expensive as the other one and this is the best for the summer especially when it's super warm if you have a warm hot climate cotton it keeps you breathing I have a lot of cotton dresses and they are the best in the summer as well as linen linen is so elegant it is one of the most elegant uh, fabric as well but more for the summer and it is something that is wrinkly okay it's something that wrinkles a lot but because it's linen it's fine so in terms of synthetic fabric you have also polyester and you have viscose which are the main fabric that you see the most on the market so polyester is a hundred percent synthetic the advantage of that material is that it's resistant so it's not gonna break easily polyester can mainly look cheap you know when i said that silk look instantly elegant um, cashmere looks instantly elegant because these are fabrics that really give an aspect of luxury rather than polyester if it's not made well it can look easily cheap so when it's clothes that are 100% polyester you have to look at other signs on the clothes to see if it's good quality or not polyester is less expensive this is the only advantage this is why a lot of designers are using it even 
higher designer a lot of brands are using polyester because it's cheaper it's easier to use the biggest downside of polyester also is that it's not comfortable when you wear it you tend to sweat it's not very breathable then you also have viscose and this is another type of a fabric that is mainly used especially in high street fashion just like polyester but also in designer fashion I have to admit so it is a mix between a natural fabric and a synthetic fabric so viscose is not a hundred percent synthetic and it's not a hundred percent natural it's something in between and it is not expensive that's why a lot of brands are using it it is also breathable it is a strong fabric that can last you longer but it also requires dry cleaning this goes is a bit better in terms of compared to polyester so if you have something with viscose on it it's a little bit better quality so then my next point would be pay attention to the thickness of the fabric the thickness of the fabric how heavy it is when you take on your hand how heavy it is it is most of the time a good indication of the quality of the clothes if it is heavy if the fabric is thick especially if you have to figure it out because it's all polyester and you don't really know if it's like good fabrics or not for example this sweater is like a cashmere sweater from lily silk it is very beautiful but it is thick you know you can sense that it is heavy it is thick it is good material and of course cashmere a hundred percent cashmere is obviously good quality for example you have these pants that are more satin pants and they are very heavy even though they are made of polyester and viscose they are heavy <laughs> when you look at the fabric you look at you touch it you can sense the fabric yes pay attention if something is transparent that's not an indicator of good quality unless it's sheer fabric that is transparent on purpose the cut of the clothes the cut good cut the first thing that you see is the cut of the clothes uh, look at the cut and look how it's made look at the sleeves for example are the sleeves the same size look at the shoulder are the shoulders well made look at the overall aspect of the clothes also look at how good it looks on you of course you have to try it on i always try on clothes it shouldn't be too big on you it shouldn't be too tight on you to look elegant it's important that the clothes fits you the fit is very important mostly when clothes are good quality they tend to fit you better the cut and how it fits you it is an indicator of good quality mostly of course you have to pay attention to your body shape and i invite you to see my video on body shape in case you haven't seen it uh, i'm going to link it below it has to be a thoughtful process look at the cut and see if it's even you can also obviously look at the brands certain brands are synonym of quality and durability my next point would be look at the sewing pay attention to how it's so how well it's done how the sewing is done it is very important it's a big indication of the quality look at the zipper as well is it a well done zipper super beautiful you cannot really see it if it's one that is hidden you cannot really see it very well made and all of that or is it something just really quickly made and half done look at all of the details the buttons um the embellishment if it has embellishment how the sewing is made on the embellishment and everything it's looking at the small details that can indicate you the quality of the clothes look at unfinished work irregularities you don't want to have anything that is not even anything that looks not well made look at also the patterns if they're placed correctly next to one another um, look at every single little details of course at the end you have to make sure that you see the instructions of the clothes and taking good care of your clothes is important because you can have something that is the highest quality possible but if you don't take good care of it you're going to destroy it <laughs> especially if you want to iron it or if you want to wash it all of that you have to pay attention for example this dress is silk I have to pay attention when I wash it 
very delicate. It is going to keep your clothes high quality for the longest time possible. So thank you for watching my darlings. I hope you liked it and I hope it was very helpful for you because this type of video are so helpful and if you want to have more information on this subject, leave some comments down below on some videos ideas that you can have. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Also follow me on my Instagram which is at Lisa Heart Style. Don't forget to also join my Discord in case you want to join the elegant club of the beautiful glamorous ladies that are leveling up all together in my discord and everyone is sharing talking and making friends the link is also down below and until next time take care of yourself and i'm giving you so much kisses Mwah. goodbye